Hey guys, DG Man here back with another video. And today's video is going to be a review of Live and Maddie. And now before I get into the video, I just want to say I go ahead and say that I'm sorry for the lack of videos, just that college has been taking up a lot more time than I thought it was going to. So these videos are just going to be coming out whenever I have free time. So again, sorry, but you know, college is college. And uh, another one thing I want to say is that I'm going to, that I know I said I was going to watch more than one episode of a show before I review it, but after watching one episode of this, I'm pretty sure my opinion isn't going to change. Is this a good thing? A bad thing? Well, you're just going to have to sit there and find out. Okay, so this show is about two twin sisters named Liv and Maddie. Now, whoa, whoa, wait a second. Where has Disney done a show about twins before? Zack and Cody. But, uh, back to review. Again, this show is about these two sisters living their life together after one of them comes home from living the Hollywood life, you know, being a star. Now, where has that been done before? Nickelodeon, see that run? Uh, but don't worry, guys. All because the show has girls as the main characters doesn't mean they don't have guys for the boys to relate to in the show. Now, where has Disney done that before? How about Shake It Up and Good Luck Charlie? Now, you know, just a quick side note, guys. Has anybody else noticed that the girls have been pretty much taking over Disney lately? I mean, as in them being the main characters. I mean, I'm not complaining or anything. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to point out the obvious. You know, like what Shake It Up is Rocky and Cece. Good luck, Charlie, with Teddy, Jesse, with Jesse. And then there's Austin and Allie. And now they got this show, Liv and Maddie. And I heard the next sitcom supposed to be uh, Girl Meets World. So right now, I'm pretty much trying to say is, where's the love for the dudes, Disney? Where is the love? Excuse me, did you the man? Please do not interrupt me, adoring fan. But, uh, did you the man? That's what Disney XD is for with shows like Clarash and Bernstein, Pair of Kings, and now that new show, Mighty Men. <gasps> that is very true. Thank you for pointing that out, adoring fan. Okay, I'm done with my side notes, so let's go ahead and get back with the review of the episode that I decided to watch, which was called Team Aroni. So in this episode, Maddie, the tomboyish girl of the twins, becomes the team captain of her basketball team. But as soon as she becomes captain, the team already doesn't have her back when she tries to get the new uniforms from the principal. And they pretty much all just turn their backs on her like, we don't, we're not with you, we don't know what you're talking about. So Maddie tells Liv, the stereotypical Hollywood popular girl of the twins, about her problem. That's when Liv comes up with the idea of joining the team, but then have Maddie kick her off to show the team that she needs that she needs business and that she's large and in charge. Now let's see what Liv and Maddie's younger brothers are up to. So their youngest brother, whose name escapes me at this moment, brings home some tarantulas, to which some of them escape into this into the house. So it's up to the brothers to find all the tarantulas before their mom does. So <laughs> that's that story. Now let's get back to the girls. So Liv and Maddie put their plan into motion, but when Maddie does kick Liv off the team, the, the other girls are like, no, 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 she'll get better. We know she's terrible, but she'll get better over time. Give her another chance. And one of the girls are like, didn't you just say, Captain, we need to stick up for each other? And so pretty much their plan just fails right there, so Liv stays on the team. So Liv, being stuck on the team, comes up with a new warm-up for the girls to do, because it's the first thing that the other team will see, so they want it to be something that's intimidating. So with their newfound confidence, with their new warm-up routine, the girls go to talk to the principal about getting new uniforms. The principal still says no, and also adds to that, takes them out of the tournament altogether for like no reason whatsoever. So the girls go back to talk about it, to see about what they can do to fix their situation. And that's when the girls decide just to fundraise the money themselves for the uniforms. So they fundraise it, they get the uniforms, they impress the principal, to which they, he lets them back into the tournament again. And that's pretty much the end of the episode. Okay, now to give you all my overall thoughts of the show. First off, I want to say that the theme song to the show is pretty darn catchy. I'm not afraid to admit that. The next thing I want to say is that if you didn't know, only one person plays Liv and Maddie. That's right, it's only one actress. And I think she does a pretty darn good job for playing two people. You know, if it wasn't for research, I wouldn't have known. And uh, I'm not sure why Disney decided to do this, but uh, it's Disney. Do what you want, Disney. And another really quick side note is that I think the actress that plays Liv and Maddie, Dove Cameron, is pretty cute. I mean, just look at her. Whoa, 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 coppers. She's 17 going, getting close to 18, so. And I'm 18, she's 17, there's not that big of an age difference, so calm down. 
Okay, let's get back to the review. So the third thing I want to mention is that this show actually surprised me. I wasn't even expecting to crack a smile while watching it, but again, it surprised me and it got a few chuckles out of me and it made me smile a little bit. Like when uh, Maddie was about to kick Liv off the team and the other girls were like, no, 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 give her another chance. I thought that was kind of sweet and put a smile on my face. Another part that made me smile was when the youngest brother caught one of the tarantulas and said, yes, we caught Joan, the ringmaster from a broken home. You would get that joke if you watched the episode. Another part that made me smile was when... Uh, uh, Liv called the basketball team groundhogs when they're called porcupines and one of the girls corrects her by saying but we're the porcupines and then Liv is like whatever and just, I don't know why that just kind of made me smile and another part that made me smile was when the girls were doing their warm-up routine but all because this got a few smiles out of me doesn't mean it doesn't have a sheer bad humor like it's your normal Disney sitcom bad humor you know just the lines don't just aren't funny sometimes they just they're just not funny and, you know, it's just so unfunny that it's almost face palmable, face palmable. And, you know, sometimes just stupid stuff happens, like when the girls, when uh, their, the girl's moms make, the girl's mom makes the team a, like a very large Subway sandwich and the girls just eat the sandwich like animals off screen. You know, it's just stupid, stupid humor. As far as the characters as Liv and Maddie goes, they're not too stereotypical, so they're okay. Like, Maddie isn't too stereotypically tomboyish, and Liv isn't too stereotypically Hollywood popular girl, you know. They're in the middle, which is good. Okay, now for my real overall thoughts of the show, is that the honest truth is this show seems better than the average Disney sitcom. You know, I'd rather watch this show over Jesse and Shake It Up, not that I watch those shows. And again, honestly, I was going into the show thinking that I was just going to completely hate it, that it's just going to be some another generic Disney sitcom, even though it kind of is. But, but, you know, this show, again, it surprised me, got a few smiles out of me, you know. It's just better than the average Disney sitcom. Now, my, now, do I recommend this show? Yeah, no, nah, I, I don't know if I should or not, you know. If you if you want to give it a chance, do it. I don't care. Am I going to keep up with the show? No, no, not at all. But uh, if you if I, if, it, if there's like nothing else on TV and it's an episode I haven't seen before, then yeah, maybe I'll sit down and watch an episode. But uh, this is going to be the end to my video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave comments down below on what you think of the show and leave other comments on, if, on other shows you want me to do or, you know, leave requests. And uh, again, this is DD Demand, and I'll catch y'all next time. But before I go, <clears throat> Dove Cameron, when you're 18, call me.